Imagine this. You walk through the front door, and instead of chaos and clutter, you're greeted by a space that feels like a sanctuary, a place where every single object has a purpose. The air is clear, the furniture thoughtfully arranged, and the energy of the space invites you to breathe deeply, to simply be. It's not just a home. It's a reflection of who you are and what you value most. Now, pause for a moment and ask yourself, how does your home make you feel right now? Is it a place where you can truly unwind, create, and connect? Or does it weigh you down with too much stuff, too many distractions, and too little space to think? Today, we're embarking on a journey to transform the very space you live in. But this isn't just about redecorating. This is about building a home that supports your mental clarity, nurtures your spirit, and reflects your deepest values. Through intentional design and mindful choices, you'll create a space that fosters creativity, peace, and meaningful connection. And here's the key. It's simpler than you think. We'll take you step by step through this transformation, decluttering, purposeful design, and room-by-room -room makeovers, and we'll hear stories from real people who've created homes that don't just look beautiful, they feel right. By the end of this journey, you'll not only have a blueprint for a simpler, more intentional living space, but you'll understand how these changes can ripple out and transform your entire life. So, let's get started. Because the way you design your home is, in many ways, the way you design your life. What is simplicity in a home? Really? For some, it's minimalism clean lines, sparse decor, and only the bare essentials. But simplicity isn't one size fits all. It's more personal. It's about creating an environment that feels right to you, where nothing is wasted and everything serves a purpose. Simplicity is about alignment, where every object, every choice, speaks to your values and your sense of self. Now, take a moment and think about your space. What does your home say about you? Does it reflect the life you want to live, or has it become a repository for things you no longer need or love? Think about how much lighter you would feel if your space was decluttered, purposeful, and aligned with what matters most to you. This is the first step. Understanding that a simple living space isn't about having less, it's about having more of what you truly need and cherish. A simple living space is a foundation for everything else in your life. When your home is clear of unnecessary distractions, your mind follows suit. Suddenly, you have more mental energy to focus on the things that really matter. More space to think. More time to be creative. More room to connect with the people you love. And that's what we're here to create together. A space that not only reflects your values, but actively supports the life you want to live. Let's start with the hardest but most transformative step, decluttering. Clutter is more than just a collection of things. It's a manifestation of indecision, attachment, and sometimes even guilt. We hold on to items out of fear. Fear that we might need them one day. Fear that letting go is wasteful. Or fear of losing the memories attached to them. But the truth is, clutter steals our time, energy, and focus. Decluttering is about more than just clearing physical space. It's about creating mental and emotional clarity. When you let go of what you don't need, you make room for what truly matters. Take a moment and think about the clutter in your life. It could be a drawer that's overflowing, a closet packed with clothes you never wear, or even a storage room full of things you've forgotten you own. How does it make you feel? Overwhelmed? Drained? What if you could open that drawer, that closet, or that room and feel nothing but calm? Imagine how much more energy you would have, how much lighter you would feel, if every item in your home had a purpose. The art of letting go. So, how do we begin? Start with the smallest, most manageable space in your home. Maybe it's your bedside table or a kitchen drawer. Take everything out and ask yourself, do I need this? Does it add value to my life? If the answer is no, let it go. Donate it, recycle it, or throw it away. But don't keep it just because it's familiar. There's a method called the one-touch rule. The idea is that every time you pick something up, you make a decision about it immediately. No more shifting things from pile to pile or stuffing things into drawers. If it's something you use and love, it stays. If it's not, it goes. 
But decluttering doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. And as you let go of physical clutter, you'll start to notice something remarkable happening inside of you. You'll feel lighter, freer, more at peace. And that's because your home and your mind are deeply connected. When you declutter your space, you declutter your thoughts. Once you've cleared the clutter, it's time to design your space with intention. Every room in your home should have a clear purpose. The purpose of a room isn't just about its function. It's about the feeling it evokes. Does your bedroom feel like a sanctuary for rest and relaxation? Does your kitchen inspire you to cook and gather with loved ones? Or do these spaces feel chaotic, overwhelming, or uninspiring? Let's take a deep dive into each room of the house, exploring how to transform them into spaces that support your well-being and reflect your values. Your living room is often the heart of your home. It's where you gather with family and friends, where you relax after a long day, and where you should feel most at ease. So, how can we transform this space into a haven of connection and comfort? Start by thinking about the layout. A living room that fosters connection should have seating arranged in a way that invites conversation. Sofas and chairs should face each other, not the television. Leave enough open space to move freely, but not so much that the room feels cold or empty. Next, consider the decor. Choose just a few meaningful pieces, artwork that inspires you, books that you love, or a plant that adds life and vibrancy to the space. The key here is to avoid overloading the room with objects. Simplicity is about quality, not quantity. Lastly, think about the atmosphere. Lighting plays a huge role in how a space feels. Soft, warm lighting can make a room feel cozy and inviting, while harsh lighting can make it feel sterile or unwelcoming. If possible, let in as much natural light as you can during the day. Natural light not only brightens up your space, but also boosts your mood and energy levels. Your bedroom should be the most peaceful room in your home, a place where you can unwind, rest, and recharge. But many of us fill our bedrooms with distractions, TVs, gadgets, piles of laundry that detract from its primary purpose. The first step to creating a simple, intentional bedroom is to remove anything that doesn't contribute to rest and relaxation. This includes electronics that stimulate the mind and clutter that overstimulates the senses. Instead, focus on soft, calming colors, comfortable bedding, and minimal decor. Think of your bed as the focal point of the room. Invest in high-quality sheets and pillows that make you excited to crawl into bed each night. Keep your nightstand clear, except for a lamp, a book, or anything that helps you wind down at the end of the day. Lastly, consider what you want your bedroom to represent. Is it a place for quiet reflection? A space for intimacy and connection? Let these intentions guide the way you design and organize the room. The kitchen is more than just a place to cook. It's often the hub of the home, where families gather, meals are shared, and memories are made. To create a simple, intentional kitchen, start by streamlining your tools and appliances. Keep only what you use regularly and store the rest out of sight. Clear countertops are key to maintaining a sense of calm and order in the kitchen. Cluttered countertops can make even the simplest task feel overwhelming, while a clean, open surface invites creativity and ease. One of the best ways to simplify your kitchen is to adopt the one-in, one-out rule. For every new item you bring into the kitchen, a new gadget, a dish, a tool, let go of something you no longer use. This keeps your kitchen organized and prevents it from becoming overrun with unnecessary items. As with every room, the kitchen should reflect your values. If cooking and eating healthy meals with your family is important to you, make sure your kitchen is organized in a way that makes this easy and enjoyable. Keep your ingredients easily accessible Create a designated space for meal prep and invest in quality tools that make cooking a pleasure, not a chore. Your bathroom is where you begin and end each day, so it's essential that this space feels calming and restorative. Many of us fill our bathrooms with half-used products, towels we no longer love, and toiletries we never use. But a simple bathroom should be a place of renewal, not clutter. Start by decluttering your bathroom cabinets and drawers. 
Keep only the products you use daily and toss anything that's expired, broken, or unused. If you're someone who enjoys a spa-like experience, invest in a few high-quality items, soft towels, a beautiful soap dish, or a calming candle that make your bathroom feel like a retreat. In terms of design, opt for natural materials like stone, wood, and soft fabrics. These materials create a sense of warmth and tranquility, turning your bathroom into a space where you can unwind, refresh, and take care of yourself. Designing a simple living space doesn't mean stripping your home of personality or warmth. It's about making intentional choices that align with your values. Every piece of furniture, every decoration should serve a purpose. It should add value to the space, either by being functional or by bringing you joy. But simplicity doesn't mean starkness. A well-designed simple space feels rich in its own way. Rich in meaning, rich in comfort, rich in peace. Think of it like this. If you have fewer things, each thing becomes more special, more noticed, more appreciated. Choosing meaningful decor. When it comes to decorating a simple living space, focus on pieces that have meaning to you. This could be a piece of art that moves you, a family heirloom that tells a story, or a plant that adds life to your space. Whatever you choose, make sure it aligns with the feeling you want to create in your home. Let's use your living room as an example. Instead of filling it with decorative items just for the sake of decoration, choose just a few pieces that resonate with you. Maybe it's a piece of artwork that reminds you of a meaningful moment in your life, or a handcrafted item from your travels. These meaningful objects not only enhance the beauty of your space, but also add a personal touch that makes your home feel like your sanctuary. One of the most important aspects of a simple living space is mindful organization. But this doesn't mean stuffing everything out of sight or investing in expensive storage solutions. It means creating a system where everything has a place and everything is easy to find. Mindful organization is about more than just creating order, it's about creating peace. When your space is organized, you can move through your home with ease. You know where everything is, and you're not weighed down by the stress of clutter or the frustration of not being able to find what you need. Mindful Habits for a Clutter-Free Life Developing mindful habits is key to maintaining a simple living space. Instead of letting things pile up, make it a habit to tidy up regularly. This could be as simple as a five-minute decluttering session at the end of each day, or a once-a-week sweep to clear out anything that doesn't belong. Organization isn't about perfection. It's about creating a space that works for you, a space that makes your life easier and more enjoyable. Finally, remember that simplicity isn't about achieving perfection. Your home doesn't need to look like a magazine spread to be simple, intentional, and beautiful. Embrace the imperfections in your space, whether it's a scratch on the floor, a mismatched set of dishes, or a worn but loved piece of furniture. These imperfections add character and soul to your home. Simplicity is about making room for what matters most, not about creating a picture-perfect space. As you work through the process of simplifying your home, be kind to yourself. Allow your space to evolve over time, and don't feel pressure to rush the process. Creating a simple living space is about so much more than just organizing or redecorating. It's about crafting a life that reflects who you are at your core. When your home is aligned with your values, you're more at peace, more creative, and more connected to what truly matters. As you move forward on this journey, remember that simplicity is not a destination, it's a process. Start small, be patient with yourself, and allow your space to evolve over time. Each step you take brings you closer to a home that supports your well-being, nurtures your spirit, and reflects your true self. So, now the question is, what will you let go of today to make room for what really matters tomorrow?